guys, it's Adriana here. I'm like super excited for this video because it's a fashion video. I haven't done one of these in a really long time, but I'm super excited. For you guys that are new here, I do a lot of different videos, travel, lifestyle, small business, all that kind of stuff. Just vlogs, lifestyle in general. I wanted to do a fashion video because I got dogs and I've been wanting some dogs for the longest time. So I finally got them and I'm excited to show you guys how I style them because I'm 5'1 and I feel like I have a lot of trouble styling things sometimes because I'm short but I make it work. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of like my go-to outfits and how I style them and hopefully you'll enjoy them. So let's get into it. I've actually wanted dogs for the longest time and they're kind of pricey like buying them new so I know that like I especially when it comes to buying like fashion items that are more on the pricier side I do take a few months to like dwell it over to see if I actually need them because sometimes it's just like the in the moment fashion trend that you're like I want to buy them so I wanted to take my time to see if I actually really wanted them and I think like a, honestly like a year passed and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy them. So I did. I got the Pascal ones. I really wanted like the softer, like worn leather look. I wasn't really a fan of the shiny ones. I just don't like how it looked on me. But I feel like the leather ones give it like the worn kind of feel. Just makes it look a little bit cooler. And I feel like I can style it a little bit more. So I'm gonna be showing you guys like my go-to outfits, how I style them. And hopefully you guys can get an idea of that. Especially if you're short, I got you. Especially because like styling dogs can easily go like really dark and look really gothy or be really chill so again it's just all about styling and how you make it work so this first outfit is overalls and just an oversized tee and I saw my dogs actually when I first tried on my dogs I was wearing this outfit and I just loved how it looked that's why I kind of decided to get them because I was like okay I can make it work this way so I'm wearing overalls um, I believe I got these at Cotton On and in this oversized shirt, which I'm actually gonna try it with another outfit I'm gonna show you guys. This is my Hillsong United shirt. It's a church shirt tour shirt and it's an extra extra large. It's all they had left, but honestly, I don't regret getting it because it's so soft and so oversized that I can like tuck it in with like everything. Honestly, I love this shirt. I wear it so much. So this outfit's kind of my, my quote, more casual outfit. The thing that I like about docks is that they're actually pretty soft to wear. So I don't feel like, he like it doesn't feel heavy. They're pretty comfortable and I can wear them often or like wear them out and about like when I'm shopping. So it doesn't feel like it's just like a specialty novelty item that you only wear on special occasions. Like I can wear with anything. And this outfit kind of is super chill. It's something I just take for shopping for like a quick hangout with a friend. And it just gives it like a little bit of an edge. Obviously you can switch out the shirt with like any color and it'll, it'll look cool. So again, I'm 5'1", so I love the look of a midi like size skirt but I'm on the short side so so this white skirt I got at Urban Outfitters and it definitely falls a little bit too long but I still really love it so again I'm pairing this skirt with my Hillsong United shirt I freaking love this comment I freaking love this shirt like I will comment I wear it with like anything trust me so I wear it with this shirt um, I took the shirt in and kind of like rouge it out so like it gives a little nice flow and I styled with my dogs and honestly I feel like I love the way it kind of gives like a feminine outfit like a kind of bit of a twist again it's so comfy and like I've gotten so many compliments on it um this is like my favorite outfit right now this is honestly my favorite outfit it's so cozy it's so cute I love how like the contrast between the white and the black if you guys know me I'm more I wear mostly blacks. If you see my rack, it's like black and white and this random color. That's usually my color scheme. I don't really venture out much. But yeah, I love this combination. It gives it like a little bit nice of flair and it looks kind of cool. And it looks super cool. So it's like so it's like a little feminine with a skirt and just gives it a twist with the boots. So another quick one is this dress from Target. My, this actually was my sister's dress and she passed it on to me. Um, I wear a shirt under it just because I just I don't feel super comfortable showing my arms. Right now I'm just showing my shoulders but I don't really like showing my arms that much. So I wear a shirt under it but I'm pretty sure it'll look fine if you don't wear a shirt under it. But it's kind of like this again a little midi dress. Again I pair it with my boots. This is definitely like my goth librarian go-to look but it's honestly such a comfortable outfit and I think that's why I love it because I love dressing comfortable and I feel like that's been my struggle of like marrying comfortable with fashion and making it look cute together because 
I feel like in my head like dressing fashionable like always means that like I'm gonna be uncomfortable so finding things that are comfy and cute are like my thing so this is such a cute outfit again I wear it I wear this to work even and I work in an office and it like makes sense for my office at least but yeah I love it because it's super I feel like it, it's really casual and I'm super comfy but it looks so look and it also looks a little dressed up so my issue with pants and docks is the fact that I actually do um, roll up my pants. I love capri pants usually because again I'm short so they kind of end up falling right at my ankle instead of like mid calf. I don't like pants that like fall right at my shoe. I hate that. I like love having the little gap because I'm weird. So that's why I tend to buy my pants in like a capri. So I'm gonna show you guys two pants looks. So the first look is these capri pants I got at Cotton On and just a shirt tucked in. Again, a tucked in shirt with pants is always like my go-to. Um, I am going to try to steer away from skinny jeans, but that's a topic for another time. Um, but for right now, it's all I have and I wear my docks. I make sure to like have that little gap and I just love that how that looks. But it's another super casual outfit that I can like throw on and go. And I can wear it anywhere, honestly. I like worn this to Disneyland even. So yeah, it's a good outfit for like any time. Similarly, I wear these ripped up jeans. These are my favorite ripped up jeans. I got them years ago at Forever 21, which I don't shop at Forever 21 anymore for reasons. But yeah, I got these like years ago. Again, I'm also straying away from like the rib trend as well. I feel like I'm getting too old for that or like I'm growing out of that trend. But I like keeping these around. So again, I just pair them up. I do roll up the bottoms because these are just like a regular fit pan pants i roll them up at the bottom just to give me that little gap and then and i pair it up with this value and all that stuff sweater i really love this sweater it is so comfy and it's oversized it's the best it's from hillsong from color i'll leave the link down below because it is like the best thing ever i love this sweater it's so comfy as heck but i love like the contrast like it gives it like a nice casual vibe i can wear this again anytime when i'm out and about even when i'm hanging with friends like it's such a cute outfit Another outfits with this jumpsuit that I'm wearing right now. I don't remember where I got this, but it's like a super cute jumpsuit. I don't usually wear like off the top, so this is like one of my first ones that I actually enjoyed. Um, but yeah, again, it's like I love pairing like a super feminine theme, feminine outfit, and giving it this this nice little edge. I think it's super cute. But I feel like my favorite thing. So I guess like for me, like in general, so I guess my tip when it comes to like wearing docks if you're short, I guess for me personally, but it could help out with you, is to make sure to wear it with like a lot of cropped things. Um, a lot of my stuff is already cropped, so I feel like it's easier to pair it up with. So it just doesn't look super chunky or like stubby. I just really like how it looks that way with cropped. Gives it a little room to breathe and it just looks kind of cool. I love pairing the feminine stuff with like the, the boots because it gives it a little edge and it kind of keeps it cool. So that's how I style my dogs with some of the outfits I have. If you have dogs, let me know how you guys style them. What's your go-to outfit with dogs? Because I know there's a lot of ways to style them. So I would love to get ideas because honestly, I get my ideas when I'm shopping because there are some stores online that like will style dogs in like the sample pictures with like items. Um, so then I get like an idea of like, okay, I can pair it up with that thing. So that's kind of what I do. So let me know how you guys style your dogs down below. If you have any other ideas, let me know. I might make a video of how I style my dogs for work because I do work in an office. I have a full-time 9 to 5 job and I do take mine to the office. So our office is definitely more like a business, business casual and a little more toward the businessy side. But I still am ever, I am still able to pull those off. So I might make a video on how I style them for work. But if you guys have any other ideas for a fashion video in general, let me know down below. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in a different video. Bye!